Well, welcome to day three of our 28 days of word and prayer in the book of Acts. And today we're looking at chapter three. Specifically, we're going to look this morning at uh, verses one to 10. And this is a passage that you've probably heard, um, spoken of, preached, uh, read yourself many times. It's about Peter and John going into the temple uh, to pray and coming across a man who had been lame from birth. Uh, every day he was carried and laid down at the, uh, the entrance to the, the temple um, next to the gate called Beautiful. And the whole purpose was so that he could beg. Um, that, was his, that was his only way of being able to, to live. And so when Peter and John get there, um, he asked them for some money, which is, that's what he, he did. Peter and John, it says, looked at him intently and Peter said, look at us. And the lame man looked at them eagerly, expecting money. You know, as I was reading this, I, I realized that very often I can come to Jesus with my expectations of what I need to be able to um, have my need met. Uh, for this man, it was... It was money. That's what that's what he was looking for, and so um, that's what his expectation was. But God had so much more for him, and I wonder how many times that I fail to see what God might want to do because I'm so busy trying to get my own expectations met. God had so much more. So we see that Peter um, Peter said to him, "I don't have any silver and gold." But I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, get up and walk. It says then Peter took the lame man by the right hand and helped him up. So we see that Peter had something that the man wasn't expecting. Peter had something that um, the man needed. He needed to be healed. He needed to be able to be um, lifted up and uh, to, be, to be healed and Peter was willing he said I'll give you what I have but he didn't just say it he didn't just make a declaration he then acted upon it and so uh, again I'm challenged in this passage by um, the faith that Peter exercised not only did he believe that Jesus Christ was the healer and that this man could be healed in the name of Jesus the Nazarene. But Peter then acted on that by taking the man by the hand and lifting him up. That's a challenge for me. You know, there are many things that I say I believe in the word of God, but how often am I willing to really act on those? So, you know, as we continue on through, um, through this book of Acts, let God's Spirit challenge us, not only by uh, what happened. It says they were absolutely astounded. And so how many times are we absolutely astounded by what God does? But the challenge is, if I say I believe it, am I willing to act on it and to give what I have to others? God bless you as you meditate on that today.